Today I'm going to the Southeast Max Ability um, employer event where it helps employers employ people that have disabilities. That's what my company is all about with Spectrum QA. And it's my goal to learn how to more effectively reach those people in terms of hiring and onboarding. And second, I would love to connect with small businesses that have a heart to hire people with disabilities of some kind, um, but don't know how to do it. And so maybe I could facilitate that. Anyways, um, I'm going to get in the car. I've made my coffee and let's get going. I always really love going in the car on long road trips like this, beautiful scenic road trips like this, because it's a great time to reset and establish well, what are my priorities, what does true success look like in the context of this event that I'm going to, uh, in how to pitch. Um, I'll link it the book below, but basically it talks about acceptable outcomes regards to like what are five acceptable outcomes for any event or any meeting that you have. One's your dream outcome, like they sign the paperwork and it's a $10 million deal, it's great. And then another acceptable outcome that's not perfect, but they might say, we'll do business with you in two years. Well, that's not bad. Um, and so road trips like this help me think through well, what are the acceptable outcomes with meetings that I have in the next few days? Um, lots of really cool collabs that are kind of coming out of um, the woodwork really out of nowhere and it's like totally a God thing. So, but just thinking through the acceptable outcomes and so the application for you would be, well, what's an acceptable outcome for what you're doing today or a meeting that you have coming up, maybe with an executive or maybe with a friend, it's a tough talk. You know, there's so many ways that any conversation can go, but if you go in with five acceptable outcomes, you know, of varying levels of success, you can't lose in that meeting because you like said all these different ways that it can succeed. It doesn't just have to be a really narrow definition of success. So anyways, that's what's on my mind as I'm driving through Southern Minnesota and just enjoying the rain every day. Oh. CRP and um, we're actually through your Chamber of Commerce. So that's why you're set up in these three different pods and then we're going to rotate after. As you're in HR, as you're in recruiting, I wanted to show you a couple of these um, videos and just think, how would you use this? Okay. That meeting was so, so good. I'm so glad I drove down to Rochester to go to this event. Met some amazing people from Hormel and hearing their heart to expand their work workforce was awesome. Uh, we broke into three different groups talking about actual companies implementing and seeking out people with disabilities and what does accommodation look like at a practical level? What does sourcing and retaining talent actually look like? And then, mm, mm, mm. Got to meet an amazing network connection through the Mayo Clinic and man alive were they asking good questions and they see the value of a diverse workforce and they're putting on events like this which they don't get paid for and that's so cool. It's so encouraging because I just I live in this little little box of you know helping people with high functioning autism and like creating job opportunities through Spectrum QA. But to be in a tribe of like-minded individuals today was so, so worth the drive down here. And I just couldn't be more encouraged. So onward and upward, here we go. Road trip part two. Yeah. 